I've had a few requests for how to send messages out through Skyward. A number of teachers have used the reports to send out messages, but what do you do if you want to send out just a message without attaching a grade report? So this is where the Message Center comes in handy. Uh, before I dive into Message Center, I just want to point out that I am using a training database here for Skyward. This is not real student data. There's no privacy issues here because it's all made up stuff. So no worries there. So with Message Center, if you go to a class, pick one of your classes, over here on the left-hand side in the grade book, you'll see other access. Right at the top is Message Center. And if you click there, it takes you to this screen. In this screen, you can send messages to just the class you clicked on. So in this case, it would be period four English three slash B, or you can choose to send it to multiple classes. So let's suppose I wanna just, I wanna send a message just to this particular class. So over here on the right, there are a couple of buttons and one says add a message for multiple classes. The other says add message for current class. So I'm gonna choose current class and you get this window that pops up. This top portion here is just like your email. So the message summary, that's like your subject line. I would encourage you to include the name of the class in your subject line, along with whatever would normally go in your subject line, just so that when parents and students get the message, they know what class it's coming from. The message detail would be your message. You can make this box bigger by clicking in the corner down here and dragging a little bit longer. Personally, I don't like to compose my messages in this box. I find it's a lot easier to open up, say like a Google Doc or a Microsoft Word Doc and type my message in there and compose it. And then I can copy and paste it over into this message. Uh, so that's usually my preferred way to go. But in any case, you give it, you give it a subject line, you input your message, don't forget to say, you know, uh, signature line because it doesn't add a signature like your email just adds a signature to it. So make sure you, you know, sign it, Mr. Or Mrs. Whatever for your class. Then you have some options below. There's two ways that this can show up to students and parents. This posting option box shows up on Skyward. So they would only see this if they log into Skyward in the messages that show up when they first log in. You can also choose with this box right here to post it on a calendar. Now this is not their Google calendar. This is the calendar that's within Skyward. Personally, I have not found students to, to make much use or any use of this calendar. So if you just post it on the calendar and are hoping that they're gonna see it, they may not actually look there. So in my experience, that's not the best option of the only way to send it. If you wanna include that as an additional way, that's great, but I wouldn't make that the only way that it goes. So you can post it to family access. You can post it to student access. I'm not sure why you would do one and not the other. I would do both. But again, this will post that message right in their stream when they first log in to Skyward. A couple of check boxes below that allow parents and students to respond to the message. If they respond to it, it's gonna respond in Skyward and you're gonna to have to check your messages in Skyward. I have to admit, I'm not real good at noticing the little notification icon when I'm in Skyward, and sometimes those messages sit there longer than they probably should. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna post a message and allow parents and students to respond in this way, you're gonna to have to be pretty good at checking those notifications in Skyward. The better option, I think, is to email. So if you click send email, it automatically fills in a date and time today's date and the time is usually about a half an hour in the future. You can adjust that. Don't put it as the current time. Give it a few minutes lead time because it's got to process things. You could schedule it for days in advance. You could send it out next week if you want to. Um, just choose a date and time. And then it automatically puts in your email address here, but you could type in a different email address if you wanted to, but it'll be, it should be your, your work email address that shows up there. Then you can choose to email to students. That'll be all the students in your class, in this particular class. And email to guardians. You can choose which guardians it goes to. There's different groups down here. If you leave them unchecked, it will just go to all the, the main parents, right? All the parents or guardians listed in there. It won't go to like the emergency contacts and stuff like that. So I usually just check email guardians, leave these all blank, all these different choices blank and then leave email additional recipients off. That would be like emergency contacts and stuff like that. So don't need that. And then these display additional details in the email body. I don't usually include the course description, but the period and teacher name, I, I usually leave checked for them to see. So once you have that set up, you can come up here, you click save. And at this time on this date, those emails will go out to everyone. 
if you wanted to send the same kind of message to multiple classes, I'm going to close without saving here. Over here on the right hand side, same kind of deal, only this time we're going to say add message for multiple classes. Everything up here is the same. All of these choices are the same. So I won't go back through all of those. What's different is down here at the bottom, you need to choose which classes you want that to go to. So if you want it to go to, you know, several classes, you can put check marks next to those classes you want them to go to. You could select all if you wanted to. Pay attention to what semester we're talking about. Sometimes you have two semesters in the list at the same time. So for example, this line right here says Math 3A, that's usually first semester, and Math 3B would be second semester, and you may not want to email students from both semesters at the same time. Frankly, it might be the same students both semesters, and they would get two emails. So choose carefully as you go through there, but you can email multiple classes, all your classes, the same message. Other than that, all of the other settings here are just the same as they were for emailing a single class. Let me close that. I'm going to go back out of this and get you back into it one more time just as a reminder. Go back to home. So from your home screen when you first log into Skyward, choose a grade book for a particular class. When that class comes up, other access over here on the left, and the first option is Message Center. That'll get you in to the Message Center, then you can choose multiple classes or single class and on you go. Well, I hope that does it for you. I hope that gets you into using Message Center if you've not used it in a while or if you've never used it. That should get you going. As always, if you have additional questions, post them down below in the comments. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you don't miss out on future videos.